All right, we're going to be working on exercise number 20. This one is specifically dealing with how you align the text um, in the different text boxes, which it's pretty similar to Microsoft Word and Excel and, of course, PowerPoint. Um, but there are some changes since it is Publisher, so we're going to look at those. So you should be on page 107 in your textbook following along. Uh, so page 107, this is the first part of exercise number 20. So... Step number two, open the file pub20, so I'm going to do that, and save it as 20flyer underscore your initials. So I'm going to save that file into the proper folder that I have it assigned for. So type that in, 20flyer underscore my initials, and save. Alright, and then next thing it has you do is you need to click on, I'm going to zoom in, the Hendrix Gazette. So, uh, how it works with alignment, it, it's going to change the alignment of whatever paragraph um, your insertion point is located. So, either that or if you want to do mul adjust multiple paragraphs, you have to select the text from those and then choose it. So, I click here on Hendrix Gazette and I'm going to set it to center alignment. You notice it doesn't really change much just because of the size of the text box. You can see right here where it begins and ends going horizontally, and it really doesn't change much. And then here it says step number four, set the volume, issue, and date text to center alignment. So I'm going to click on each one of those, change it. Now I can do it up here, or when I click on it, my computer will load. It's getting a little bit behind. If I click on it, oh, it didn't work. All right, if I click on it once, you'll notice, oh, maybe it's not going to do it for me. Um, sometimes when you click and adjust it, a text box, the box will appear up above it that you can adjust it. So, um, uh, but this time for some reason it's not working. So, I've centered those, center alignment. Then number five, in the green gradient text box, I need to set the vertical alignment to middle. Now, I've been using this one right here. Um, for alignment, but actually I can click on under text box tools format and I have it uh, a lot uh, more options for my alignment. So I can align to the top, middle, or uh, the bottom, and then of course left and right. So basically instead of just controlling the alignment horizontal uh, or horizontally, I can do it vertically as well. So it says here I need to set the vertical alignment to middle, which uh, it basically, I'm just going to press middle there and it'll change it. You'll notice it's about the same spot, nothing much different. And then center the address line. Oh, excuse me, I'm skipping ahead here. Uh, it's number six, uh, in the gray border text box, change the spacing. So the gray border text box right here, uh, change the spacing to... Uh, spacing between the lines to text of text to 110, 1.10 spacing by typing in the measurement box and change the horizontal alignment to left. So the way I change the spacing here uh, is I go up here to font, the font group, I click on this part right here and then, oh, I can't, excuse me, uh, I need to go to the home tab first and then go to paragraph group, so next to the font group, excuse me, so home tab, paragraph, Click right here on this button, and then my indents and spacing come up. Go down to line spacing. I have the options of before paragraphs, after paragraphs, or between the lines. And I'm just going to click right here, put my insertion point backspace, and type in 1.10, and click OK. And then also it says I need to align the text to the left, so I'm going to do that as well. There we go. It's looking more like our illustration on page 108. Number seven, on the coupon. So I'll scroll down, select the Hendrickson, and then change, center it. So I'll do that. And change the font size to 14. So I've done that. Oh, you'll notice here I actually have to select the whole thing. Oh, and let's just backspace here actually. There we go. Uh, select the whole thing here since it's uh, being that way and then change the size of it. 
Um, so make sure you select the whole thing when you change six size. I forgot there. And then uh, step number eight, center the address line on the coupon. So step eight. Step number nine, change the alignment of both paragraphs under springtime is garden time. So I'm changing the alignment to justify alignment. Now you probably learned this already, but of course we have left, center alignment, right, and then justify, which you can see basically just fills in all the lines similar to each other except for the bottom one. So you can see they all kind of line up like this, and it divides up the words and splits them uh, to put them to the different lines. Then here it says I need to print the publication, so I'm gonna I usually save before I print just in case something messes up. I'm gonna go ahead and print it as a PDF. Remember, save it to the exact same folder that you're putting your exercise in and make sure that you are, um, uh, excuse me, make sure you're saving it to the right folder and saving it with uh, the name that it's supposed to have. So mine is not saving in the right spot. So. I'll just go ahead and select, doc select documents for now. Um, you can see here I have 20 flyer already, and then I'll save it like that. Save. Mine's going to bring up a preview of the PDF. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for it to respond. But in the meantime, let's go on over to the On Your Own part of Exercise 20. So I'm going to open up a new publisher f uh, publication since this one is taking its time. So I'll just... Oh, hang on a second here. All right, looks like we're going to have to wait a second for it. I'll just click cancel so that way we can move on. All right, next thing I need to do is open up zero pub 20. So, or excuse me, O pub 20. So I'll open up that file. This is on my laptop, so it's a little bit slower. And save it as, excuse me, 20 board underscore your initials. So 20 board underscore your initials. There we go. Now I'm not going to do the whole thing, um, but I'll at least show you a couple so that way it gets you started. All right, step number three, set each box on the bulletin board to have a unique combination of vertical and horizontal alignment. No two boxes, boxes should have the same combination. So what I would want to do is make sure each one is different. So I could, for instance, just go to this tab, and here this one's lined up to the top and the left. So I could do that. This one I'm going to change to the top and the right. Uh, you'll notice I need to select multiple paragraphs for it to do properly so I'll just I can click three times or uh, select it like that I'll move this one everything to the left in the middle this one I'll do down in the center and you can see it's really simple by clicking on the text box tools format format tab and just selecting the text for each one so very simple step number five, uh, four for the red border text box so it looks like this is our only, or here we go, this one right here. Red text box, set the line spacing and the body paragraph to 1.5 spacing. So remember, we need to click on our home tab, home tab, and then go to paragraph group and click on this button. So remember this one right here. And then change our line spacing, I'm just going to type it in, to 1.5. You'll notice it spaces it out a little bit more. And then set the space after paragraph. Oh, missed on that step, so I'm going to open it back up. Set the spacing for after paragraph. So right down here for the heading in that box to 0.10. So I want it just for the heading in this box. So select the heading part, then go up here, open it back up, and then put in 10. And there you go. Now I've got the spacing just with the header because I selected it. 
Then step number five, change the line spacing for at least two other text boxes, including both between line spacing and spacing either before or after paragraphs. So I'm going to leave that one up to you to do because you already know how to do it and then save your work and publisher and that is how you complete exercise number 20.